Virgo, how you doing? Merry Christmas to you all. Okay, so I thought I would do you just a quick bonus round of thoughts, feelings, or things to work on, my advice, all that kind of stuff. Energy that can be around you, okay? So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Virgo. What can you tell me about Virgo? Attraction. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me, Virgo. So basically, that means law of attraction to me. Okay, law of attraction. So when you start to concentrate and take back your own energy within yourself, okay, because you have to align yourself with yourself, I'm really going to start talking to people about um, why seven is so important. You know, I do say that, but I'm going to do some teaching videos. But law of attraction always works off your vibration of your self-worth and respect and love for yourself. Okay, it always relates to the great sacrifice, always, you know. Never forget this one thing, Virgo, okay, is that the devil is present on this earth as well as what we are and as what God is because we are the great sacrifice. That's why we have codependent things of attraction, okay. Attraction, things, people can be attracted to danger. Well, of course they do because that's codependency of the devil, okay. The devil no, never shows his face as much as what God doesn't because they both, <laughs> we are all one energy. Okay? We are all one being of one thing that presents itself in one cycle of the earth that is also one. Okay? So we learn to ascend through codependency of attraction. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there goes some noise. So we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, well divine timing, you know, you don't wait. This card is very tricky for some readers to kind of say. Never wait for things to happen in your life, Virgo. You have to make things happen yourself. Action. Always have to have action. Waiting, okay, is what keeps people in missed opportunities because they wait on things, okay? So that's not what that means. That is kind of like the Two of Cups, really. It means divine guidance. It also means the Five of Cups, okay? It means that things come to you through Law of Attraction, okay? Your vibration is the, is the, is the thing that you have to work on yourself. Have to know yourself. You can't let people make you feel trapped or you can't be trapped, because the only person that entraps you is yourself, constantly. All the time, you can't feel trapped, you can't be waiting for things, you have to push forward always because that's ascension. You have to walk your karma and you have to experience it. Okay, so divine timing is at work in your love life. Meaning, so when I used to teach people about the plate, I don't know if you did, but like from 10 as a, a cycle of 10, when Lucifer was abandoned, okay. He fell from 10 to 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, codependency, ran from responsibility, phew, through the wheel into emotion, okay, out of control, okay, control, controlling issues, okay, <coughs> so that's the great sacrifice of whole, one whole being of codependent that pulls us down as an attraction of waiting, okay, the waiting game, so that created time, an explosion of time, a bit like the Big Bang, okay, when Lucifer hit the ground, it caused an explosion of time. That's why we have divine time. Things happen within divine time. But divine time tells you not to wait. You can't wait for things to happen. You have to have action. Okay? Because some people can just sit around waiting for things to happen and thinking, well, when will, you know, will my next year be okay or will my next month be okay? Not if you're not creating it yourself because you create your own future. So you have to trust and believe in yourself, always, always, seven of cups, always trust and believe in yourself because the person that you should always pick is yourself. But you do that in time, time. So let's see, attraction, can you tell me more about attraction for Virgo, what does attraction mean? Because your vibration is everything, if people don't see you at face value, meaning your vibrational level of your soul, not your meat suit, your soul. Face value is your energy of your 
of your um, goodness, your light, your light, your light ascension of what you offer someone, of what they look for. If that's not what they're looking for, but you possess that, but they don't, well then you go through a, a cycle of learning that love is eternal feeling. It's an eternal feeling through abandonment, through God, of what Lucifer felt. He caused blame and causes destruction, but that's his written path of codependency and control. Okay. So attraction. So, yeah, so it talks about freedom. 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 Your vibration is everything. Freedom. You could be wanting to go across across the world or but this is basically kind of like broadening your spectrum of your mind opening your mind thinking more broadly okay you could be attracted to someone that lives abroad okay and you want to travel to see them can you tell me more about the two of wands because the two of wands is also kind of a waiting but not it's more of a contemplating energy contemplating you know uh you could be you could be attracted to someone across the world and you could be meeting. Let's have a look. Two of Wands, two of Wands. Trying to give out as many stories as I can. Yeah, working closely with someone or wanting to collaborate with someone. See, this card is so many different things. This is what I talk about about the plate. These are all past life. Past life energy that's carried within a cycle. Three. Patterns of three. Segments of three. Separation and avoidance. Okay. Always choose yourself. Where you live presently, you know, it's like, you know, what would you pick? The past or the future? People always want to know what their future is, but they never ask, well, where am I presently? If you're stuck, then you're stuck. So you've not your future's not created within divine timing, it's because you've not turned around to create your future yet because it's not written. It is written, but it's written for you to experience things first before you can move forward, okay? Till you start getting your lessons, understanding, then you start to collaborate with people more broadly within time. So it could be abroad. But can you tell me more about Three of Pentacles? Because that depends if you're caught in a, a bowl of soup with other people. Three, can you tell me more about the Three of Pentacles? Three of Pentacles. I don't know why, but I'm kind of picking up that yeah, quality, quality. I was kind of picking up the aspect of worrying whether someone's seeing someone else across the border, and that's what, I'm not sure why I was picking that up, but equality, so there you go. So through ascension, through ascension of concrete structures, of walls of defence within yourself, you learn about equality of giving and sharing and caring, okay? So in the past, in the past, you could have come from someone that was giving more to one person than the other. Okay, More money. If it was family, they're giving more money to one family than they are another. But they're also giving more to someone else than what they are you too. But this is universal balance of the scale. Okay, So it could have something to do with the Libra, maybe. But the scale of balance. Okay, So it represents the, the seed of intent that gets downloaded through the crown chakra that aligns you with you of learning about equality, that if you don't have equality and you can't be sharing and caring, sharing is about caring. Okay, When you find that within yourself, then you have opportunity. But these are opportunities. That doesn't mean it's going to happen. It means that you have to see it to take it. That's why it's an opportunity. So it could be to do with work or love. Okay, Work or love. But that comes in when you are more attracted to yourself, when you find self-worth, because that's um the six of pentacles that's kind of like you know like i was saying you always have to pick yourself always you know so worth waiting for let's see what's worth waiting for worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life what's this about please ten of pentacles wow payday so if you're receiving that amount of money virgo you can order a free read <laughs> you can order a reading or you can donate to my channel, that'd be great. <laughs> but that's equality. That's caring and sharing and equality. So if this is to do with work, yeah, you have to obviously wait for that. But that's good because that's like you formed equality. 
So that's good news if you're thinking about a job or whatever. The answer would be yes. Uh, that is also um, a love offer coming in that you've probably been waiting for. But you, I mean, you can kind of wait, but it depends. You, the waiting game can form the devil. You don't, you don't want the devil around with codependency. You know, you don't want to form restrictions of being stuck because that forms a devil energy of where then you're then codependent. So that's not a good energy to have. But waiting, obviously, we have to wait things for to come into fruition because we plant the seeds of intent, okay, and then it comes into fruition through seeds well set. Okay, so then you have love offer. Could have been heartbroken in the past, maybe, because I've just seen the Three of Swords, but there are any cards that are underneath. Uh, the Knight of Cups. What's in the cup? What's in the cup, Virgo? Can you tell me the Knight of Swords? What's in the cup? Let's hope it's not Fox Piss, eh? right, Virgo? Knight of Cups. What's in the Knight of Cups? Knight of Cups. Can you tell me, please, what kind of Knight of Cups? The Knight of Cups. Okay, wow. So, yeah. <clears throat> well, this is also a returning energy, but not. Okay, so this is a little bit of confusion that's kind of going on. Um, you see, this is someone that's walking away from the past of something that was already built up, like I was saying through here. So you could have been involved in some kind of bowl of something, soup. But someone's walking away to make a new love offer in a new direction or a work offer in a new direction and you've probably walked away from the past. These could be separate stories. Someone has you, them or some moon rising or some other people that will probably blame Virgo or something. <laughs> or me. <laughs> right Virgo. Uh, but you also have the Five of Cups which is what I was saying. You know, turn around because the future is divine timing. Okay, divine timing, what I was saying about that. Divine timing was created by this this energy. You know, if you stay put in this energy, your energy levels are low and you won't know what's written for you within divine timing because this is the two of cups that's saying to you there's something better out there for you when you raise your vibration and you start to listen to universal energy of realizing that codependency and love is just an eternal feeling that was created through abandonment, abandoning. This is abandoning your own happiness by staying low or feeling restricted because someone else maybe you've walked away from you. You have to let other people experience their written path. If it's to do with children or anyone like that, well, people look at them as human, which they are, but they're also souls and they also have a written designated path to experience as a soul of light ascension like you did. Okay, so you have to think of people of what's for their their highest good, highest vibrational good. They have to experience the low to gain their own vibration, to experience what they're written to experience. Okay, um, but let's have a look at them. Let's have another look at that. Yeah. So you, someone could be watching someone else, and it's that's what's causing the the jealousy, maybe, or thinking about walking away. Because the page is looking at a new offer from someone else, maybe, that's attracted to someone else, and that could be why this energy is could be to do with not sharing and caring, you know. Trust. Let's have a look at trust, Virgo. Trust. Well, could have something to do with Scorpio in their chart. I, I, I always kind of represent this as Scorpio, but this is freedom. Okay, this is freedom. This is a declaration of independence. Okay, becoming independence. Okay, the situation calls for you to have faith. So this is faith because it's freedom, because you've got to have faith, okay? So the bird also represents the Akosha to me because I have um, 
I have a spirit animal of birds, okay? And trust me, they deliver me more messages than what you would believe. I can actually hear them talking, and I shit you not, okay? They've delivered me messages where I thought it was me thinking it, but they're talking to me. I might tell people about this story, but at some point. But this is freedom, okay? So when you find more of attraction and you feel free, that you're not feeling entrapped, okay? Freedom is everything, because that's self-worth and value self-worth and value of finding the trust back in yourself of trusting trust you know people break your trust but you know you you, you have to trust yourself of realizing who you really are you have to you have to keep that faith of who you really are please tell me more about the nine of pentacles so there you go so then the seeds get intent to make that a ten a ten Please tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. So it's been a heavy burden. It's been difficult. And that might be why like an offer has been dropped. Because that's a dropping of Pentacles. Like freedom is dropping. Okay, dropping. Please tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. And you're probably trusting about divine timing of someone coming back to you but you're wondering whether to wait for your investment 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 and you're probably learning about law of attraction or you're hearing or you're believing or you're listening to this you know page of pentacles page of pentacles you know because it if if people have if if you're in a relationship with someone right there and they've been cheating on you and you're waiting for them to come back to see if that will happen again. Well, it will. Because you don't have enough respect in order for to drop them. Because they keep doing the same thing. So you need to manifest something new. Could have a reflection of soulmate energy. Or you can meet a new soulmate. You can meet a new soulmate. Could be anybody. Because the, the magician is, is every element every element it's no good me saying aries because it can be but it's also every element because you have cups and swords and you know everything you know that right so please tell me more about the magician the magician the magician but you don't have any prominent signs here like you know major arcana there's nothing major there's no star signs that are coming out so this could all be about self-worth <laughs> worth worth trusting your own worth Trying to, try to get out. Yes, wow. So there you go. So trusting within yourself brings in law of attraction of, of um, feeling united within yourself, okay, and celebrating with friends. Well, that's what's happening over Christmas or the new year, or that you can actually unite with the person that you're supposed to be with, okay. Could be Sagittarius, or you could have that in your chart. Could be Sagittarius. Um, and you're probably trying to trust that. Let's see what else we've got. Can you tell me more about the Three of Cups? Three of Cups. What is the Three of Cups? Three of Cups. Uniting. Why is it talking about celebrating? Okay. Could have something to do with air sign energy. So you've got Virgo, you've got that coming up in your own chart, seeking seclusion. Um, you know, could have something to do with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that is kind of uh, leadership, entrepreneurial, that just does not take any shit. There's that someone that can create anything. You know, they know how to, to cut away things. That's the sort of truth that's, because you could be waiting for the truth, trusting that the truth's coming, or you're, you're, seeking seclusion because you're going to deliver someone the truth this is delivering the harsh truth can be okay um and wanting to because things are slow things are slow at progressing so that's that could be why things are just like stuck and it's just calling you to have faith and trust and the situation calls for you to have trust okay so it basically means that because that's a guide also you know and virgo 
those energies there together are a guide. Okay, that's a guide. So you could be listening to one or you are one, but that's what that's saying. That's saying that, um, you know, trust is that it's divinely protected of you to learn this, whether that's the wrong way or the right way. Either way round, whichever way the wheel turns, you always learn something. You have to learn about pain in order to learn yourself to trust yourself through the amount of pain you experience, the amount of time you do it, you start to learn that I, the only person that I trust is myself, which is the best thing that you can do because that's you. <laughs> you know, some people don't, they, they live in fear because they don't trust themselves, but if you're a decent human being, then you have to believe in yourself, Virgo, all the time, okay? So I'm gonna leave it there. I don't know if that resonated with you, okay? Um, but we have every element on the table, um, apart from like, like say Virgo. So you could be interested in another Virgo. You could be, it could have air in their chart. Okay. Um, water, earth, everything really, apart from fire. You've got no action cards, not really any fire, but anyway, we'll leave it at that Virgo. Okay. That's just a bonus round. Okay. All right. Peace. If you want a reading or anything like that, it's all in the description, guys. All right, the songs do.